Hey girl, hey, and welcome back to OMG Scrunchy Club. I am the scrunchy creator, Lamio, and today I am wearing the OMG Scrunchy Crown headband, as well as the OMG Scrunch earrings. Take a look at these. Aren't they so adorable? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so today you clicked on this video because you want to know about some scrunchy making essential tools that will help you with putting your elastic in. So I have three tools here that people use, um, two that I use all of the time. And the first one is the old fashioned clothes pin. You can line your scrunchy casing with elastic by using a clothes pin. I will show you how to do that. The second one is a traditional metal bodkin. So here is the metal bodkin. I purchased a pack of 12 of these off of Amazon. And the third one that I use, or can be used, is the plastic body kit. So I am going to show you how to use each of these to insert the elastic in your scrunchie. In addition, I will post a video on the different types of elastic. So there are two commonly used types of elastic that people use in their scrunchie casings as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the traditional, I wanted to say clothespin, the traditional, oh my goodness, I'm having a brain fart, safety pin, the traditional safety pin feed through method for casing, for lining the casing of your scrunchie with elastic. So here is my pre-cut elastic, I'll take the safety pin, stick it right through there, close it. And I have some scrunchy casings already here on the table right next to me, just to make this video go by a lot smoother. So first I have to find the hole on my scrunchy casing, which is right here. Take the safety pin, insert it inside of the hole, and you're just going to feed it through. So we're feeding it through. By the way, while you're listening and watching, how was your day? Mine was pretty exciting. Um, it's rainy outside right now. I taught three classes. I am an art teacher. Just in case you're wondering, um, so I had three full classes today and I decided to make a video. So at this point, I am likely going to speed the video up so that you don't have to see me doing like this entire feed through the process of this scrunchie. Make sure you don't drop the pin like I just did. So now I have to start almost all the way over. So that is one of the cons of using the safety pin. It's so small. And as you're feeding it through, if you accidentally let go of it, it could go all the way back to the beginning. And you have to start over like I am doing. Elastic on the other end. I have made it all the way around with my pin, just trying to get it through that hole right there. Almost there. Almost there. We go. I made it out through the other end. Whew. That took a while. Okay, so now I will just take the pin out and tie a nut. So if you've watched me make a scrunchie in my other videos, you will know that I tie a knot and I sew my elastic, so double safety. So there it is. Here is the scrunchie, fluff it out. Next, I am going to feed through elastic with the metal bodkin. So if you take a look at it, it has a little ring right here, as well as little teeth. So you move the ring back to open the mouth. And when you move it towards the left or right, depending on which way, towards the bottom, we'll just call this the bottom. It will close, my light keeps going up, but it's okay. The show must go on. It will close the mouth of the bodkin right there. So I'm going to open it. Insert my elastic at the mouth. I pinch down, pinch down to hold it and then I'll just push the little ring right there towards the end. And now the elastic is on the bottom. So now we're going to feed this through. So 
also I have another scrunchie casing here that also has no name. Remember guys, I am lunching next month on the 7th. By the time I lunch, I will have a name for each of these scrunchies. But I would love some help naming them. Hey, maybe I can name it after you. Just drop your name in the comment box. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell for notifications. So I'm going to feed this through the exact same way I did with the safety pin. So feeding it through, feeding it through. So I am back at the hole again. And I will pull the bodkin through. See this little round tip right here? Right there, I'm going to pull it back. It opens the mouth, releases the bodkin from the elastic, and I will tie this as well. methods or three different tools the methods the same the tool is what's different so I cased the scrunchie with a clothes pin not a clothes pin a safety pin a metal bodkin and a plastic bodkin so you tell me which one you prefer best when casing your scrunchies and don't forget to go to omgscrunchy.com to register and sign up for our newsletter our website launches August 7th at 6 p.m. on August oh, 7th. Our website launches August 7th, 2021 at 6 p.m. I was trying to be cool and say 876 because it's August the 8th month, the seventh day at 6 p.m. But thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and have a lovely, scrunchy, fantastic day. See you next time. Bye-bye.